Um, welcome to the field project module. Uh, the course code for this module is XA0D4 and I'm going to be the presenter for this module. Um, basically what is required of you as a final year student or an honor student is that you must produce a mini um, dissertation. Um, and I'm sure that I'm not talking about something strange to you because in your second year you did research methodology which showed you how to, all the steps and procedures, how to conduct a research um, project and so on. So this time around, you are now required to produce a research project um, which must be submitted at the end of your semester's tool. So this is basically another year uh, module but I'll take you through the process. Maybe, first of all, let's start with uh, some key definitions just to um, bring you up to speed about what it is that we're going to be doing and what I expect from you as um, students who are doing their research project. So let's first of all look at research. Uh, the most important part perhaps is uh, what is research? What are we doing when we are doing a research? So research has got many definitions, but what is important is that research is um, according to this definition here, which I have before me, it is a systematic inquiry whose objective is to provide information to solve real world problems. So in other words, um, through this research or through this research process or research inquiry, we want to solve real world problems or we want to solve problems related to HIV and AIDS. Because I want to believe you are aware by now that HIV is a very dynamic field. There's a lot of changes which are happening across the entire continuum of prevention, treatment, care and support. Um, so, research in this process helps us to answer the question, uh, the question, so what? Um, what research is all about? Uh, research is a, it's an open system of thought, it's a critical reflection, it's a structured process of inquiry, and also it implies objectivity. And what we can say basically is that research is a scientific method of answering questions or research questions. Um, where do we get research ideas? We get research ideas from current events, um, alternative viewpoints, scientific literature in your field, or current issues which are going on. I'll come back to this area again because I want to give you um, some work which you must do immediately when you start, when you receive your tutorials. We can get research ideas from databases. Um, there are quite a number from Namibian studies or other literature and also table of contents. I will not say much about starting think, thinking about your research early, but all I want to say is that the time that he has been waiting for, all the four years he has finally arrived, and this time we are going to be doing the real work of doing the research process. What is important is that when you get your tutorial, I want you to give me or to submit to me as soon as possible without delay your research topic. You are going to submit to me a, a research topic. So I want you, as soon as you get your tutorials, my email, my contact details are there in your tutorial, submit to me your research topic because we want to look at each and everyone's research topic and see whether it is researchable or not or if there are changes a b c d we can work along that 
So your research topic can proceed from a problem. Maybe there's a problem that or that you see happening in your community every day. You want to find out how can you go about conducting a, an inquiry. And also there is a need for this research. So of course sometimes people can approach us, you know, um, as students or as university graduates. Um, can you please help us do a research on, a, on this topic? And also relevant to your own career prospects. Perhaps you are looking forward to changing careers and there is something that you want to do um, in your next line of job. So you can create a topic out of that. Um, your topic must be interesting and stimulating because remember when you choose your topic you literally have to work with your topic you have to sit with your topic right through until the end so make sure that you choose something that is interesting that is stimulating that will keep you going and also you must be original Okay, you must be original. So the issues of originality means you don't need to go and take someone else's work or go on the internet and download and do other things. There is just no need for that. The time frame is realistic. Make sure that when you choose your research topic, remember we just have one year and we just have two semesters. This is a lot of work that is involved. Because remember, there will be a lot of um, back and forth movement between you and me. And also, you must also look at your abilities and resources. Do you have resources to conduct this research? Because in most cases, you are not required to do a national study. You can look perhaps in your constituency, you can look in your region, you can look in your village, because research requires us to have a lot of um, um, resources, but which we, I know we don't have. And also make sure that your research is practicable, practicable and feasible. Um, but remember, start to think small as you do all this. Um, so, like I said before, I want you, the minute you get your tutorials, to send me your research topic, meaning what is it is it that you want to research on then from your research topic then you are going to be required to come up with a research proposal so let me quickly take you through i i know you have done some of these things in your previous um, um engagements but let me you again up to speed about the research proposal. Um, basically, when we talk about research proposal, um, I'll take you through this very quickly. Um, we are talking about um, your thinking about the research problem, or some people they call it a blueprint on what you want to research on. It is economically written. It is highly structured and organized. So what do we mean by highly structured and organized? So number one, you realize that our research has got six chapters. Usually our research um, has got six chapters. Sorry, how am I writing now? We've got six what? Chapters. Our research has got six chapters. So. In your proposal, you are required to do three chapters, right? And this is chapter one, two, three. So chapter one basically is the introduction and background of the study. And chapter two is your literature review. And chapter three is your research methodologies. So. When you are talking about a research proposal, we'll be focusing only on those three chapters. So first of all, you give me your research topic. Then once your research topic has been, we have agreed, because I don't, I don't, we don't give research topic, you give me the research topic. Then when we agree on your research topic, the next thing is we'll start now to discuss about 
how you are going to put together a proposal or a research proposal. And the research proposal has got three chapters. Chapter 1 up to chapter 3. You will find a lot of these details in your tutorials. Um, what also this means is that maybe, like I've already said, just to give you some highlights, your, your research proposal will contain the following. Obviously, you, uh, you get all the guidelines in your tutorials, but it must have a title page. It must have a table of contents. It must have a background and rationale. So, rationale is the reason why do you want to conduct your study. And then we also have got, there must be something on preliminary literature review. So literature review means when you look at your topic, there is someone, somewhere who did some study already in your respective topic. So you are then required to read. So you choose, because mostly I always tell people or students, when you choose a topic, when you pick a topic, before you talk about the background, the objectives and other things, first of all, do literature review. Because if you have a good understanding of your topic, everything else falls into place. But here I'm just giving you the skeleton of what it is or a summary of what a proposal looks like. So after your literary, I mean, uh, from there we also have um, the statement of the research problem. So here we are trying to amplify what is the problem which is causing the pain. What is the problem which is causing the pain? So this is what we want to focus on or look at. And there are guidelines again in your tutorials. Then we also have got research aims, but in most cases we'll just focus on research objectives. Research objectives are accomplishments. What it is that you want to accomplish to get answers to your research problem or to the statement of the problem. Then from there we have got what we call research questions. And then from there we move to issues of the research design, which is basically your, so your, your chapter three. It is about the methods of research. What methodology are you going to apply? And from there we look at the, the, research, the, the, the research design, where we talk about issues of qualitative, quantitative, and mixed method. Then from there we talk about population. What is the population of your study? Meaning the people who are going to respond to your questions. Then we talk about the sampling. Because you must remember that there is a difference between population and a sample. So a sample is a subset of the population. We don't interview, we don't collect our data from the population, but from the sample. And there are reasons why. And then from there, we look at our data collection tools. What tools are we going to use for collecting our data? And then from there, once we have collected our data, what tools are we going to use to analyze our data, to make sense of our data? And also, we look at ethical issues. When we deal with research, we deal a lot with issues. With, because remember, we are, when we do research, research is a very practical. That's why we called, call it field project meaning that you are going to go into the field. You are going to go and interview people on the ground and then collect data. So what behaviors, how should you as a researcher conduct yourself when you are collecting your data? So ethics is a, it's a, it's a very broad issue. And like I said before, all this information is well detailed and well contained in your tutorials. And then from there, we also want to see a list of references. And also talking about referencing, we are looking at the APA um, in um, I, our studies or the International University of Management, we use what we call the APA. And currently we are using the sixth version. So the sixth version is what we need. 
So what this means is that as a researcher, you need to get hold of that document. Because when we talk about referencing, we're talking about two things. There is what you call in-text referencing, meaning you reference in the body of your work. And there's also reference list, meaning the list, the list of all the literature that you consulted. So what you put in the, what you use in the, in the body of your research is exactly what should be reflected in the reference list. I, I've seen most students sometimes, I don't know whether they want to impress supervisors or lecturers. You find someone generates five pages of reference and then if you go in the body of the text, perhaps they've reflected, they've referenced only one or two. Um, that is very wrong. We know that one thing for sure, you are an undergraduate student, I mean, you are an honor student. You are not doing, uh, you are not a researcher, you are not yet there. Make sure that you are as honest as possible. What you consult is what you use in text and also referencing. And make sure that you follow the APA guideline, version 6. And you must create, you must create your own, um, you not, I wouldn't say creating, but I want to encourage you to really download that copy, print it out, and make sure that you put it by your side. The reference list must become like your daily bread. Because I've seen most students, they struggle with referencing, simply because they haven't internalized the whole concept of referencing. So, um, what I want to encourage you to do is that, like I said earlier, the moment you get your tutorial later, the next thing that you must do is to send me your research topic. Then out of your research topic, then we are going to talk about your research proposal, how you are going to go about putting your research proposal. Because you must remember that research demands us to work very hard. There is a lot of work which is involved. And um, this, is a, this is a scientific paper. You must make sure that you follow all the instructions to the letter to make sure that your work is presentable. Because if you don't do your research module very well, even if you have passed all the other courses, unfortunately, you cannot graduate. But also, you must remember that when we do research, the most important thing we want to do is to help you as a student to be able to generate knowledge. You must be a knowledge creator. So that on its own must excite you um, because it's a journey of discovery it's a journey of excitement, something that will completely revolutionize your academic career. So I really want to encourage you to embrace the concept of research. I know you have heard so many stories about research is difficult, research is this, research is that. But I want to assure you that um, you and I, for the first time in many years, you are going to enjoy this concept. And I'm looking forward to working with you um, towards helping you come up with a very sound research um, project at the end of this, um, of this year um, as you prepare yourself to step out of the academic world prepared and ready for the world of work. Um, my contact details are there in your tutorials and I will encourage you to really get in touch with me. Because remember, research, it may be difficult at times, but remember, I'm going to be your presenter, but also I'll be your supervisor to make sure that you get it right when it comes to your research project. So feel free to contact me anytime, and I wish you all the best in this undertaking.